Through extensive research and testing, we've put together a list of the five best-performing CPUs currently available on the market for less than $200. Links for all of the processors mentioned in this video will be in the description box below. Let's get started. Number 5. AMD Ryzen 3 3100 The AMD Ryzen 3 3100 is currently the only third-generation AMD CPU that you're going to be able to find new for under $200. With the newest generation releases later this year, that might change, but overall, the price of Ryzen CPUs has remained fairly stable, so you shouldn't count on it. The main thing driving down the price of the Ryzen 3 3100 is the fact that this, unlike most of the CPUs we'll review today, is a quad-core processor. Most games can be handled quite easily by a four-core processor, or even a dual-core in the case of some older titles. The only major exceptions are going to be newer open-world games like Red Dead Redemption 2 or Far Cry 6, or grand strategy games like Stellaris or Total War. You'll still be able to run those games, they just won't be as fast or smooth as they would be on a more powerful machine. The fact that this is a multi-threaded processor will help with the more CPU-intensive games and tasks, but if you're going to be doing a lot of stuff that leans heavily on your CPU, then a 6-core 12-thread i5 processor will probably be a better fit. On the brighter side, the Ryzen 3 3100 is one of the best quad-core CPUs when it comes to overclocking. The default clock rates are in a pretty narrow band, only 3.6 GHz to 3.9 GHz, but you can consistently overclock it to 4.5 GHz, with some overclocking enthusiasts reporting clock rates up to 5 GHz and beyond. For some applications, that's going to more than compensate for the lower core count. Of course, if you're going to overclock it that high, you're going to need something more than the included stock cooler. The Wraith Stealth coolers that AMD ships with the Ryzen 3 and 5 CPUs perform fairly well on clock rates up to 4.5 GHz, as long as you have other fans or cooling installed. But anything higher than that, you'll want to get a premium cooling option, preferably liquid. With that being said, the AMD Ryzen 3 3100 definitely isn't the cheapest quad-core processor out there, but the overclocking potential elevates its value beyond the retail price. If you aren't planning to overclock it, then many Intel processors, both 4 and 6-core models, will be cheaper and offer much better overall performance. Number 4. Intel Core i5-10400 For most users, the 10th generation is as far back as you're going to want to go on the Intel Core processors. With a 10th generation, you're still going to see a performance that approaches the 90-95% to 95 mark of the generations that followed it, but at prices that are significantly lower. Performance-wise, a lot of the immediate competitors that AMD released the same year hold up better, but are also a lot more expensive as a result. The Intel Core i5-10400 is going to be the lowest price you'll find for a 6-core 12-thread processor in 2022. Anything cheaper is going to be shedding cores, threads, or both. Some users might be able to get away with that, depending on what tasks they're looking to get out of their PC. But serious gamers and anyone looking for a robust all-around build will want to stick with at least a 6-core 12-thread processor. Most cheaper options are also going to be even older, which can come with other drawbacks. Much like the difference between the 11th and 12th generation, the biggest change you'll notice between the 10th and later generations is that the range of default clock rates is tighter. The base clock rate is 2.9 GHz, which is fairly low, but makes this processor one of the only times you'll see Intel going neck-to-neck -neck with AMD on power draw. The max boosted clock rate goes to 4.3 GHz, which is better than the AMDs you'll find at this price point. That will provide enough performance for high-end gaming, if you have the graphics card for it, as well as multitasking and some more complex rendering projects. Now, as long as you've got a case with good thermals, the included stock cooler should be adequate for 95% of what a processor this powerful is going to be capable of. If you're going to constantly be doing stuff that keeps your CPU and GPU running at full speed, you might want to upgrade, but you could easily justify making that your last priority. In summary, the Intel Core i5-10400 is the cheapest processor that won't require you to make major sacrifices. It's not that much cheaper than the newer i5-11400, and with the release of Gen 12, stocks of the i5-11400 seem to have stabilized. Still, if you're counting every penny, the 20 to 30 price difference in most outlets and lower power consumption makes this a worthwhile purchase. Number 3. AMD Ryzen 5 2600 there are a couple of reasons that Ryzen processors are popular for budget builds. The processors themselves don't cost much less, if anything, than their Intel counterparts, especially considering how much older they often are. 
However, Ryzen processors are generally way more friendly on power consumption, which can save you money on your PSU in the short term or on electricity in the long term. Ryzen processors are also all unlocked, so you can overclock them and draw more power than a cheaper chip would typically offer. The AMD Ryzen 5 2600 is another 6-core processor and one of the oldest chips on the market that's still going to be worth your money. Unlike most of the Intel CPUs released the same year, the Ryzen 5 2600 uses multi-threading, which allows each physical core to perform multiple functions simultaneously. Compared to a 9th gen Intel, this will perform complex tasks much quicker and be a lot smoother for multitasking. The default clock rates are in a pretty narrow band, with a base of 3.4 GHz and the max factory setting boost up to 3.9 GHz. Even with that higher base clock rate, it still draws less power than any of its i5 counterparts. However, the max clock rate is quite a bit lower than what Intel was achieving at similar prices and timeframes. Even though it's unlocked, you'll still be able to only boost it up to around 4.2 GHz, and only with proper cooling. If you're going to be overclocking, you should always swap out the default cooler. If you don't plan on overclocking, the included Wraith Stealth actually performs admirably. It's relatively quiet, even running at full speeds, and with a reasonably ventilated case may even be able to keep your PC cool unaided. Overall, the Ryzen 5 2600 holds up fairly well in today's market, mostly thanks to AMD implementing multi-threading across their entire lineup sooner than Intel did. It's also compatible with a large number of motherboards, so finding a solid board for it won't be an issue. For under $200, the processor offers great performance for gaming, but if you do a lot of processor-intensive activities, you'll definitely notice a difference in a newer processor from either Intel or AMD. If you already have an AM4 motherboard and absolutely have to stay under $200 for your CPU, this is currently your best option, but otherwise, there's not a lot to recommend over newer Intel chips. Number 2. Intel Core i5-11400 the Intel Core i5-11400 is almost indistinguishable from the newer i5-12400, apart from some minor technical differences involving the speed and latency of the individual cores. Just like the i5-12400, the Intel Core i5-11400 is a budget 6-core processor. This makes it suitable for the vast majority of users, including gamers, casual streamers, and amateur content creators. In the current generation, you won't save a lot of money by choosing a processor with fewer than 6 cores, especially if you're going back a generation or two. The i5-11400 has a base clock rate of 2.6 GHz, which is actually higher than the newer i5-12400. That can make its baseline performance a little more responsive, but produces a roughly 10% difference in terms of power consumption. The bigger effect on your performance is going to come to the boosted clock rate, which is 4.4 GHz, the same as the i5-12400. To get much higher than that, you'll either need an unlocked processor, which this CPU isn't, or spend quite a bit more money. In addition, the i5-11400 has integrated graphics processing, which will allow your build to function without a GPU if you're going for an extreme budget build. If you're going to install a GPU, you could save a couple more bucks by getting the 11400F model, but since the release of the 12th gen, there's very little difference in price. For more powerful CPUs, you'll typically want to upgrade beyond the included stock cooler, which is why many of the higher-end options don't include one. Since the i5-11400 has a more modest clock rate and isn't overclockable, you should be able to keep your rig cool with a stock cooler and a couple of cheap case fans. If you're not able to get your hands on the i5-12400, the Intel Core i5-11400 is going to be your best bet to get a well-performing 6-core CPU for under $200. The biggest drawback of this processor is its compatibility with a DDR5 memory, which might make things harder if you decide to upgrade your rig in the future. However, if your goal is to get the best performance per dollar, the i5-11400 is the perfect option as it's slightly cheaper than its successor. Number 1. Intel Core i5-12400 Getting a 12th generation Intel processor can be a bit of a challenge, let alone getting one for the sub-$200 MSRP. For the time being, your best chance of getting a 12th gen processor for under $200 is going to be the Intel Core i5-12400. All of the 12th gen core series processors have at least six hyper-threaded cores. Six core processors can range in price anywhere from the low $100 to the mid 300s, which makes them compatible with most lower and mid-budget builds. Six is a magic number when it comes to processor cores. Why? 
Six-core processors are particularly excellent for gaming, but can handle most tasks that you could want out of your PC. Some applications might require a processor with a higher core count, but typically you only see a need for that in professional-grade PCs used for rendering, video editing, or coding. The clock rate on the i5-12400 is the lowest of any of the 12th gen core processors, and is even lower than many of the 10th and 11th gen core processors, both in base clock rate and boosted clock rate. However, for under $200, this is by far the best you can get. The low base clock rate of 2.4 GHz means that it's not communicating or executing as quickly as some of the faster and more expensive CPUs, but does have a lower power consumption and is still plenty fast for gaming and similarly demanding tasks. It's capable of detecting increased CPU demand and boosting to a much higher clock rate of up to 4.4 GHz, which draws more power and will require more efficient cooling to keep running optimally. But like most of Intel's CPUs in the price range, this is not an unlocked processor, meaning you won't be able to overclock it. Intel can be inconsistent when it comes to whether they'll ship a CPU with a stock cooler. The Intel Core i5-12400, fortunately, does ship with one, which makes it a little more friendly for budget builds. These coolers can be underpowered, but the thermal paste doesn't always get consistency applied by the factory. However, for smaller budget builds and locked CPUs like this one, you're likely to see more of a difference in your thermals if you get a couple of cheap to mid-range case fans than you would if you replace the stock cooler. Be aware that the 12th generation uses a different socket type than Intel's 10th and 11th generations, and many of the 12th gen compatible motherboards are configured for the more expensive and much faster DDR5 sticks. All in all, the Intel Core i5-12400 is by far the best CPU under $200 available on the market in 2022. For the price, it offers fantastic performance, draws very little power, and is super easy to cool. Plus, it's compatible with both DDR4 and DDR5 memory, so you'll be able to easily upgrade to much faster memory in the future. Alright guys, those were the top 5 processors under $200 available on the market in 2022. Be sure to check out the description to find the most up-to-date prices of all the CPUs mentioned in this video. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you're new to the channel and like the video, consider subscribing to the channel. We do our best to keep you up to date with the best products on the market, so if you want to stay updated on the best gear, make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you soon.